Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Jet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. The EPA and DOJ have settled for $310 million with Norfolk Southern following the Ohio train derailment that released over a million pounds of hazardous chemicals. Pending court approval, the company must enhance rail safety, fund community health, and environmental monitoring, pay a $15 million penalty, and protect water resources. The derailment in February 2023 caused a massive fire, released toxic fumes, and resulted in numerous health issues for residents. Additionally, Norfolk Southern has tentatively agreed to a $600 million settlement for affected residents and businesses, with final approval expected in September. SWAT officers in San Jose found a trove of stolen goods worth $150,000 in a house resembling a mini Home Depot. The discovery followed months of investigation by Home Depot's security team, who tracked the thefts and collaborated with law enforcement to apprehend the suspects. This case highlights the growing trend of retailers partnering with police to combat organized retail crime, though these efforts raise concerns about costs and privacy infringements. The U.S. government and 30 states have launched an antitrust lawsuit against Live Nation, Ticketmaster's parent company, accusing it of monopolistic practices that harm concertgoers, artists, and venues. Filed in New York, the suit alleges that Live Nation used exclusive deals to dominate the live events market, leading to high fees and poor service. Prompted by widespread criticism following Ticketmaster's mishandling of Taylor Swift's tour ticket sales, the lawsuit seeks to dismantle Live Nation Ticketmaster's control. Live Nation denies the claims, asserting the DOJ's case won't address ticketing issues. In other news, Mondelez, maker of Oreo and Cadbury Dairy Milk, was fined 337.5 million euros by the EU for hindering cross-border trade of chocolate, cookies and coffee to keep prices high. EU competition chief Margrethe Vestager highlighted the impact on grocery prices during high inflation. The investigation, which began in 2019, revealed Mondelez's abuse of market dominance, including halting supplies to prevent lower-priced imports into higher-priced markets. Despite Mondelez's claims of resolving these issues prior to the investigation, the fine addresses practices dating back to 2006, underscoring the company's long-term market manipulation. Mortgage rates have declined for the third week in a row, with the 30-year fixed rate averaging 6.94%, the lowest since early April. Despite this, the housing market remains challenging due to high inflation, stagnant home sales, and a persistent housing supply shortage. While some positive signs include improved housing inventory and construction rates, these are insufficient to meet demand. The Federal Reserve's decisions on interest rates could further influence mortgage rates and market conditions in the coming months. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale!